We're following up on the third reported sighting this week of an enormous python on a building site. What concerns us is the guys are working there, they're trying to clear the bush, and that python is in their way. They're scared of it. The other thing is, there's a main road right there. It's only a matter of time. It could get run over. And thirdly, there's a school a stone's throw away. We'd hate that python to get involved with any kids, give them a nasty bite, or even worse, it could actually constrict one of them and kill them. We have to take it away. Okay. Same place. Perfect. Where is it now? It is there. It's just there inside there. The last thing you want okay. is to be bitten by a 15-foot python. Pythons don't have venom. Instead, they have over 100 backward-facing teeth that could grapple onto my arm or leg. They lacerate and tear into flesh, leaving a shocking wound that's full of bacteria. Once it's latched on, the python's thick, muscular body can start to wrap around me, crushing my ribs and exerting so much force that my blood pressure could go through the roof, organs start to fail, and I could die of a heart attack. It's on eggs. It's on eggs. Oh, oh man. We've got to work fast. We've now got a whole nest of python lives at stake. You just have to hold her, you have to dig her out. I'm just holding, I'm just holding, Sue, you do the rest, keep digging. It's actually bigger than I thought. If this thing decides to whip around the strike now, we're both in trouble. Hang on, we've got her. No, I'm good. We've got her. Oh, Sorry, Snake, go away. Oh, brilliant. <sighs> Bless her. Right. Right, I'm only in a really position. <laughs> What we need to do is get this into a bag fairly quickly so we don't stress her out anymore. Oh, Carl. Yeah, I'll I might get, get it. someone to grab it. Oh, you right? this is amazing. Bless her. Oh, 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 this was the one, hey? You're not going to tell me there's another one? Oh. Once we've sorted Mum, we'll go rescue her eggs. Okay, down here. Oh, poor little thing. Right. Oh, we're here Shame. to help. Bless her. I have to find you a new home. I've got just the place in my head. Let's get her into that. Out the side. Ready? Yeah. Right down there. Okay, that's it. In you go. Here we go. That's it. Thank you, guys. You didn't have to do anything to hurt her and you caught yeah, us thanks, back. Thanks, guys. Yeah. That's brilliant. That's good. Yeah. Well done. Because so many people, they, they see these things and they want them dead. And it's such a shame. They're protected animals. Yeah. Yeah. And the other thing is, them. with you guys now clearing, which is not your fault, you would have damaged all those eggs. You yeah. just smashed them yeah. by accident. No, yeah, and that's all those little lives yeah. destroyed. So I'll sort them out now. What I'll do, I'm going to go and put her in, in the shade. So she's yeah. over here. I'll put her in the back of the car and I'll come and help you, okay? Yeah, oh, blimey. Can't sure. bite through that thing. It could, but it could, I'm not going to yeah. worry about it. Oh, there's loads. Wow. They could be close to even actually. I know, they should be. Yeah. Wow, look at this. This is like a birthday cake <laughs> of eggs. Right. Look at oh, that. Okay. One, two, three, four. You get a count on that. 25, I reckon. At least 25. At least 25. Wow, they look perfect, really. They've been and dented then... quite a lot. <laughs> wow. I reckon they're close to hatching. So the plan is now, we're going to take these eggs home and incubate them ourselves. But first, Mum needs to go back into the wild. <laughs>